so good evening everyone let us start today's session so the week 3 is uh, mainly just like our uh, we had our week 4 week 8 and week 12 uh, on our previous term the problem solving session so this is basically the problem solving and uh, where we would be learning more of what we have already learned say for example we had already dealt with ternin and norton theorem on dc we will be learning how to deal with the same with the ac similarly you had we had done with mesh analysis nodal analysis superposition all those things with dc again apply to ac this term and we will we haven't seen while computing the equivalent resistance the star delta transformation so those things uh, also we can cover in this week so hope you would have uh, gone through the lectures of week 3 right yeah everyone have you gone through the lectures madam no madam i was lectures uh, uh, was little bit busy with the uh, speech my son actually okay what about others none of you have gone through are you lagging behind still on we still in week 2 aditya hemant yes ma'am ma'am not uh, done i am not able to hear you hemant uh, ma'am uh, week 3 not started at ma'am i i will be requesting in every session not to do like this the first okay, round uh, just go through the lectures of the week plus the uh, uh, practice assignment the first round of trying it solving it on your own then if you come to the session it will be more effective this i am telling every week then you will see the difference how uh, things are becoming easier for you so it's for your uh, effective learning we are emphasizing it please make sure that you are in line with the course contents sorry madam i was back i will be back lag with uh, one or two week maybe uh, maybe up, i know that the week to uh, i mean the assignment deadline is tomorrow but anyway just try to see that uh, more or less you are in line with the video contents at least and then make sure of uh, trying to solve the practice questions also on your own so that the second thing once done from your side and then coming to the session and listening to it and understanding where you have gone wrong what you don't know that will be more effective rather than directly coming to the session and listening to the practice and then trying with the graded alone for those who are doing like that then you will be uh, stuck half the way for the exams the more and more you try to do it on your own it will be you will feel confident with okay yes yes madam sure mm. okay so uh, i am just uh, what is plan for one second ma'am ma'am ah oh, yes ma'am one doubt is there ma'am i just purchased a calculator ma'am scientific calculator ma'am okay uh, could, could you please uh, uh, in, uh, explain one second ma'am uh, how to convert from rectangular to polar and polar to rectangular ma'am yeah sure sure we will do i am i have calculator with me now ma'am okay fine fine we will do thank you ma'am okay so uh, since he has asked let, let me just again just tell you uh, how to convert the inter conversion between the rectangular and polar form and then we can just enter into the portions of week 3 so if you have the calculator with you it's just easy say for example let us take one example i will share my screen you are able to see the screen no ma'am no no now yes ma'am okay so let me consider say 2 plus j4 okay this is right now in which representation face representation rectangular a plus jb form, form this is in rectangular form now so manually how to convert this into polar if this is of the form a plus jb 
if I need to write it as some magnitude r angle phi in the polar representation, how to get this r and phi, how they are related with a and b? Ma'am, is r equal to root over a square plus b square, ma'am. Okay. And uh, theta, phi equal to tan inverse b by a. Phi equal to tan inverse the imaginary part by real part. Ma'am, ma'am, should we consider phi or theta, ma'am, for angle, ma'am? Because phi we consider phase difference. Theta for angle, na, ma'am. See, don't uh, confuse with that. Whatever this a plus j b, this can be uh, what to say. Your uh, it can be your impedance or whatever that the phase angle involved in that parameter that is the meaning here. Okay, suppose this a plus j b is some impedance of some RL circuit, then it would be the, it, it would be of the form r plus j omega l. Then your a will be your resistance and b will you will be your uh, what uh, that reactance, correct? So that again uh, uh, maybe another uh, voltage also voltage parameter also in uh, rectangular form you can have so whatever is this a plus jb representing if it is a voltage or current or impedance the phase angle involved with that parameter that is the meaning of this phi okay yes ma'am so 2 plus j4 tell me the polar re representation manually then we can cross verify with our calculator So what is R? It's 2 root 5. 2 root 5, ma'am. So 4 plus 16. Correct? Am I right? Yes, ma'am. This is R. And phi is tan inverse 4 by 2. So what is root 20? It is 4 point four seven angle tan inverse two that is sixty three point four three degrees okay so now i will show you feeding these values a and b how to get r and phi so that it is the rectangular to polar conversion then feeding the values of r and phi how to get a and b so that you are making the polar to rectangular conversion okay So do you see uh, above the uh, first we need the polar form. So you can see the uh, polar form POL and the opening bracket above the plus symbol. Do you see in your scientific calculator? Tell me where, madam. In, in your, I hope you are having the scientific calculator with you, correct? Yes, ma'am. Ah, so yes, ma above the plus uh, key. The addition key plus over it, you can see the uh, it's being written R angle theta or it is written POL that is polar of polar POL and the opening bracket. Do you see yes. something like that yes, written yes, over it? Yes, so ma'am. You press the shift and this plus symbol. What do you see? I am, then? I am, I am unable to see, ma'am, on my calculator, ma'am. Do you see the plus uh, something written over the keys, each of the keys? Yes, ma'am. Plus minus. Calculated. Yeah. Plus minus are given. Plus ma minus keys are there. Uh, the writings are there over uh, above each each of those keys in your calculator. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Uh, above plus there is a uh, into multiplication symbol is there. No, then no, that symbol is, is there. Calculator. Which calculator? What is the calculator model you are using? Model, ma'am. FX eighty two MS. Ah, oh, fine. Then you should have it actually. You should have it actually. Oh. It's fine. Anyway, just try it out. What I say, you just uh, try it out. You press shift. Do you find a shift key in your calculator? Shift. Yes, ma'am. Shift key is there, ma'am, in yellow color. Yeah, fine. So press shift and then press yeah. this plus symbol, addition key. What do you see then? Ma'am, here, ma'am, oh, I, uh, I am seeing, ma'am, uh, mm. pole. Pole is there, and uh, above that REC is given, ma'am. That's, that's, that's what. That's what. That's what. That's what. Right okay. now, I asked you. Near pole. 
yeah yeah that's pol is the polar then you see an opening bracket right mm-hmm. yes yes uh, that's okay. the thing okay yes so ma'am press, yes ma'am press shift and then press this plus symbol shift. then what do you see in the screen display ha. pol and R-E-C, opening bracket R-E-C, correct ma'am. rec and opening bracket then it would be the other way R-E-C. uh um, you just refer to the key mostly it will be the same R-E-C in all the calculators you would have press shift plus minus uh, key if it is uh, rec as you tell if shift plus plus key okay mm, rec kem now i am talking about polar so then you try yes, it out ma'am. with the shift plus minus symbol i don't think it differs from calculator to calculator mostly it will be designed the same way okay so i am right now trying to calculate the polar form of this 2 plus j4 so i press this shift key and this plus symbol addition key then i see the on the display pol and an opening bracket then you you have to feed in these values a and b so inside that bracket you feed this 2 then press comma then the imaginary part 4 then you close the bracket you have comma and clo- closing bracket all these thing all these keys available in your calculator make use of them have you fed in the values yes madam then you press equal to you will get this r 4.47 are you getting it yes i am getting madam then do you find a key yes, in your calculator ma'am. rcl rcl do you see oh ma'am yes rcl you see where is comma one second let me come back to you for those who haven't seen let me just complete this for once so rc then to get the imaginary part this uh, face angle 63.43 press this rcl and then press the tan key do you see fe equal to 63.43 70.48 no sir polar 2.4 to get the face angle rcl and then press tan key okay maybe not tan inverse tan key just yeah, press maybe, the rcl maybe. key and tan key is it yes. rcl or sto that is sto over there on top of rcl Ah, uh, yeah, the 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 same only. You press that, and then the tan. Ma'am, after getting four point four seven, ma'am, I yes. have pressed simply tan, ma'am. After that, equal sign is given. Ah, uh, equal to you have got four point four seven, right? Then you press this um, RCL key over which it is written STO. find it out in your calculator the rcl key yes. over which sto is written STO. press that yeah press that and then the key where it is written tan over which it is written tan inverse or f mm-hmm. do you see that ma'am uh, do we require rcl or sto ma'am sto we require na the same thing the same, same key over which it is written sto fine on the key it will be written rcl uh, yes yes i got sto, STO. ma'am Okay, so press that, and yes, then ma'am. this tan key. Are you getting the sixty-three point four three? Please wait, ma'am. Rectangular form two point four four. Two. Done with it? No, ma'am. Please wait, ma'am. Rectangular form again once again. Two comma four comma four bracket close. Same thing. If you need to do the other way, you have. Ma'am, missing. one point. Okay, polar. No? Okay, ma'am. Please, ma'am. The very first class, I have explained this even in the live session with the same how to you make use of this calculator. and then when i started solving the assignments and i asked you to keep the calculator with you scientific calculator for the use of assignments but also in parallel you need to know the identity so that it will be easier for your exam because exam you will be having the usual calculator where the these uh, inter conversions if it is intense it will be difficult for you so does exam have the scientific calculator not alone right No exam. Uh, you will be having uh, the same that you had before, I think. 
so that uh, you should be knowing this uh, so there is no point in practicing so that we can practice no no no, no no scientific calculator i asked you for the assignment purpose oh assign okay. only for assignment assignment purpose you may not be you i think you will be shared with uh, i let me just check whether it is online scientific calculator or the other thing but anyway you are not uh, allowed to bring a physical scientific calculator oh, yeah, with yeah. yes ma'am yes ma'am no okay. i am used to the logarithmic table but i am not yeah yeah anyway make sure that you uh, know to do it in the scientific calculator as well as manually by make use of uh, identities trigonometric identities both you should know ma'am uh, yeah, ma'am should we take should we take s2 or ma'am s2 of the 4.47 na ma'am no 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 see what you are doing first you got it as this one right then plus 4.47 that's it ma'am first we get i got 4.47 ma'am okay after it ma'am so you press equal to and you got 4.47 then yes, you press that rcl over which this s2 is written press that okay. key and then press the tan key you will get yes. f equal to 63.43 uh -huh. got it ma'am got it ma'am now okay. try to do the back conversion uh, excuse me ma'am yeah ma'am i am getting f as 0 after pressing the what, RCL what did you press ma'am rcl and tan key after getting 4.47 no they once again check it out or uh, you just clear your mode maybe you would have uh, in some other mode in the calculator but if that is the case you won't get even 4.47 once again you clear uh, clear it and then uh, get the 4.47 again do it and then press this rcl tan that means this is to tan ma'am uh, from uh, re uh, polar to rectangular ma'am one second ma'am uh, re polar to rectangular oh. what you do is again press shift and then press the minus key over which rec closing uh, i mean opening bracket is written right mm, a rectangular open rec is written uh, rec opening bracket do you see in the display then yes, you see in these values 4.47 comma 63.43 close the bracket press equal to you will get 1.99 for this two you are getting 1.999 uh, yes ma'am got ma'am again rcl tan you will get f equal to 3.99 Correct. Again, RCL ten equal three point nine nine, ma'am. Ah, so two and four, right? Ma'am, RCL ten means what, ma'am? What what happening, ma'am? RCL ten means what is going no, on? No, no. Actually, I just um, uh, uh, told you this RCL and ten for uh, make you identify which keys to press. Okay. Actually, uh, this over the ten key, you have the ten inverse, right? Do you see tan inverse being written over the tan key? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ah, that's what. So this RCL, this complex, ah, uh, for complex numbers key, this RCL is being used. Okay. So when you press this tan, that will give you the imaginary part. Fine. Yes, ma'am. Uh, RCL. What is the use of RCL, ma'am? for complex numbers we are making use of oh. these keys for finding this real part or imaginary part again in polar form for finding the magnitude and this angle part okay ma'am uh, and uh, a combining uh, combination key of rcl and, and tan ma'am uh. for this uh, we are getting a total value na mane real real value we are getting na ma'am correct okay. thank you ma'am thank you okay so this is for doing the interconversions now we move into the lecture so actually uh, in in short what is being covered in this week 3 if you uh, remember for those who have gone through the lectures i'm talking about in week 3 is uh, we would have seen this uh, nodal analysis on ac then thevenin on ac then superposition on ac then maximum power transfer maximum power transfer uh, we haven't uh, done the numerical problems in week 2 so that will cover both on dc as well as ac then we will slowly see so far we have been dealing with the independent sources then we would see something in the uh, a symbol a diamond like symbol where it will be the introduction to the dependent sources whether it be a voltage source or a current source we come to the case of dependent source then some problems based on the dependent sources and then 
the star delta transformation which helps us to solve some complicated uh, circuits where directly we may not be able to uh, reduce the circuit so we use some this uh, uh, star to delta or delta to star conversions reduce the circuit and then move forward to finding the required things okay so these are the topics covered in week 3 so what i plan to do today is uh, basically maybe we can take the maximum power transfer and the what this one uh, dependent sources if time permits we can do today or else i take it to the next session so that what already we know in the last uh, term estc paper we already are familiar with mesh analysis nodal analysis and superposition so these things in these on ac plus the week 2 in this term that is uh, your temnina norton theorem on dc so these uh, things on ac first we can see then we can see the maximum power transfer theorem and the dependent sources towards the end this is what i plan okay so let us solve some uh, additional problems which are the activity questions uh, planned for week 3 then in the next session as always maybe this thing what i have in covered today for the activity plus the practice questions we can do fine for you yes ma'am One second, let me. I think it's really my favorite. Yeah, I think it's really my favorite. It is really fun. Yes, I know it's really fun. Okay, so this is the given circuit. For the given circuit, determine V A and V B.
obviously what we go for is by means of node voltages we have right va and vb so we shall we try with this nodal analysis the same procedure that you have done for the dc here instead of res purely resistive network you have the uh, other uh, components also that means inductor and capacitor so that you have the corresponding inductive reactance and capacitive reactance shall we try with the nodal right now yes ma'am so what do we do in the dc first we first identify the principal nodes we have a reference node here then at each of the node we apply kcl assuming that the currents are leaving away the node correct so that sum of currents entering is sum of currents leaving then we try to solve those equations so the same procedure the only difference is instead of dc voltage or dc current you may have ac voltage and you will have ac voltage and ac current and instead of purely resistive network you have the other two components uh, circuit elements also inductor and capacitor so that right now we can try it out so first time we have two nodes here the uh, node voltages are labeled as va and vb this is our reference node okay so now applying kcl at node a tell me uh, kcl i assume that this current is leaving this current is leaving this current is leaving conventionally as we do the same procedure tell me what is this leaving current ma'am va v is minus 10 va minus 10 minus 10 yeah, i uh, actually didn't mark the polarity i should actually so if this is the case then it's va minus 10 va minus 10 uh, by j6 okay by j6 here it plus, is the since is it's the i mean angle is zero um it's simply the 10 okay so i am writing it as 10 suppose here you had angle then you need to make it as complex i mean in the rectangular form so that you will have everything in uniform representation okay so 10 angle zero so i am taking it as directly 10 and then tell me what is this current through the capacitor this one ma'am va uh, plus j6 va plus j6 minus j6 is given ma'am so what will you do ma'am va by j6 VA by J, VA minus zero. This reference node, which is at ground. So VA minus zero. That is the potential divided by what is here. Is minus it resistor. Is. It is a capacitor. So if it was a resistor, we would say V by R. If it is a capacitor, what we say V by X C. What is this X C? That is written as here minus J six. So VA by minus J six. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, then. what is the leaving current flowing through 3 ohm that will be va minus vb divided by 3 this will be equal to zero similarly at b what we have again uh, we assume the currents everything to be leaving so it will be vb minus va by 3 vb minus va by 3 plus vb by j4 plus vb tell me what is the third leaving current I am is a VB uh, VB by J four uh, J four. Uh, See these are all VB. See for inductor, you will have uh, written it like plus J XL. So this is as such impedance. Okay, impedance of that inductor where that real part is reactivity part is zero. This is the uh what do we say that uh, inductive reactance okay similarly minus j will be uh, associated with this capacitor 
so this is as such the capacitive reactance so if this was a resistor just like we are writing for the current v by r by means of ohm's law here we say that v by xl v by xc that's the way i have written here correct so now tell me what is this expression this leaving current expression ma'am uh, in capacitive end minus j will come na ma'am minus yeah. j4 will yeah, come yeah already it is minus given right this one no 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 right side capacitor ma'am oh right side minus capacitor also it's written minus j4 this so it's ma'am v v by j5 minus j4 ma'am v v by j5 minus j4 ah v v by j5 minus j4 equal to zero so from these two equations you can solve for va and vb so first you group out the uh, similar terms va by va into 1 by j6 plus 1 by minus j6 plus 3 sorry plus 1 by 3 plus vb into minus 1 by 3 equal to 10 by j6 VA into uh, minus one by three plus VB into one by three plus one by J four minus uh, sorry plus one by minus J VB into one by three plus one by J four ah. Huh. Plus one by J five minus J four equated to zero. So this and this gets cancelled, right? Correct. So one by three V A minus one by three V B equal to ten by J six. Similarly, here minus one by three V A plus uh, V B into one by three plus uh, how much? Point two five. One by J is minus uh, J. So let me write it as minus. Minus one by four is point two five, and this one by j is minus j. So I have written it as minus point two five j. J five minus j four is plus j. Correct. So this will be one by j. So that will be minus j, equal to zero.
so since you have va here 1 by 3 the coefficient here minus 1 by 3 maybe you can add these two so that va gets eliminated and you can first find out vb Minus one point two five J V B because if you add here also this plus one by three V B uh, and minus one by three V B gets cancelled, then this minus point two five J and minus J will give you minus one point two five J V B equal to ten by J six. One by j I have written as minus j. Then you find out v b. Just check it out with your calculator and one second. Let me know whether you are getting minus one point three four angle minus one eighty degree. Then you substitute this V B in one of the equations, and then try to find out V A. Then you will get V A as five point two two angle minus one not four point five. Yeah, now tell me, ma'am, isn't V B four by three? Which one? V B. Yes. Which one you are asking? V B V B. V B. You are telling simply four by three. Yes, ma'am. No. You are telling the magnitude. Do don't you have any angle associated with it? Is it not a complex quantity? Uh, Ma'am, actually, J uh, in numerator is going multiply with denominator, so it is becoming J square. So where, where, where you um, have? Can you just point out here the equation I have written? Yes, Ma'am. Here minus one point two five J will go minus one point two five J V B equal to ten by J six. That you are getting it. That yes, is good, now. Okay. Then I have written as this one by J S minus J. So minus ten j by six, I have written. So that this j and this j much? gets cancelled. Who? Oh. Ma'am, it will go in denominator because it is in multiplication, and it will become j square. That is minus one. Let me just check it out once again. So you will get it as ten uh, by six divided by one point two five. Yeah. Correct. So VB is one point three four approximately, right? Find out VA. 
substituting for VB. What is VA after substituting VB? Are you getting it? Um, VB equal one point three three. I got, ma'am. Yeah, VA substitute for VB and find out VA and let me know. Ma'am, five point one seven is magnitude. Five point one seven. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Angle. Seventy-five point two one. Twenty-five point two degrees. Yes, ma'am. I mean, uh, ma'am, uh, fractions coming, ma'am. For which one? Magnitude or angle you are talking about? Uh, ma'am, uh, how to calculate v, uh, after finding 1.33? Substitute in one of these equations here. Say, for example, 1 by 3 VA minus 1 by 3 VB equal to 10 by J6. You substitute here VB. Oh. Okay. So... Uh, 1 by 3 VA, you will get it as 10 by J6, correct? Am I right? 10 by J6 plus 1 point. Then you uh, convert that rectangle to polar. 1 by J is minus J. So, um, B, B, I got me 1.33 plus 30 by J6. Okay, 30 by J6, that, one, that will be minus 30 by 6J. So, that minus J will represent uh, what? Minus 90 degrees. Ma'am, 1.33 uh, uh, minus J into 30, 30 by 6, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, 30 by 6 will become 5. Yes. So with this, you will get it somewhere around this. Ma'am, but angle is coming 75.2. 
75.2 yes ma'am okay I am. I am not uh, getting the answer, ma'am. I'll just check it out. Anyway, uh, I am just focusing on right now the way of doing it because otherwise we may not be able to cover all the topics. So later, before releasing maybe this PDF, I can just check it for you. So six ohm, two ohm. So you have to determine the mesh current psi one and i two. So how many meshes are there? Two, ma'am. Two. So, shall we write the KVL for mesh one? Tell me the KVL for mesh one. Ma'am, it's uh, plus uh, five. Which one? Five angles zero volts. Plus is at the top, minus is at the bottom. That is the polarity. This is five angle zero volts. Okay, so tell me KVL I one into J four O plus six A into six I one. Into I one minus, minus, minus I two equal to minus five five volt. Ah, uh, minus five equal to zero or equal to Five. So this will be I one into six plus J four minus six I two equal to five. Then KVL for mesh two. That will be. I two into J three O plus two I two plus six into 
I2 minus I1 equal to 0. So minus 6 I1 plus 8 I2 plus 3J I2. Sorry, uh, only you have two unknowns, right? So I can group this together. So 8 plus 3J I2. equal to zero. So maybe I can write it as I one equal to eight plus three J I2 by 6. Correct? If I take it this to the other side, you have a negative sign. These Those two negative signs get cancelled. So I can write I1 as 8 plus 3J I2 by 6. So that let me substitute in the first equation. This is 1. This is 2. From 2 we get I1 equal to this. So substituting I1 in equation 1, what do we get? I1 is 8 plus 3j by 6 I2. Okay, 8 plus 3j by 6 into I2. Then remaining what you have is into 6 plus j4. Minus 6 I2 is 5 into 6 plus j4. minus 6 i2 equal to 5. So i2 if I take outside it will be 6 plus j4 into 8 plus 3j divided by 6 minus 6 equal to 5. So multiplying what do you get? Forty-eight. Okay. This is forty-eight. Then plus eighteen J plus thirty-two J. Am I right? Minus. Well, the whole by six. Minus 6 equal to 5. So I2 into 48 uh, minus 12. Okay, we can do it directly. Minus one so thirty six forty two so fifty J by six minus six equal to five. So I two into thirty six by six is six fifty by six is eight point three three J minus six equal to five.
5 by 8.33 is how much? 0. 0.6. So I2 is 0. 0.6 uh, by j. So that is minus j. So that will be uh, what? 0. 0.6 angle minus 90 degrees. Are you getting it? Ma'am, how you cancelled I1? I didn't get it. Where? Here. Ma'am, I mean starting. How you eliminated I1? Then you subtracted. Where did I eliminate? Which, can you just point out which equation here? Till which point is it fine for you? Did you get I1 as 8 plus 3j I2 by 6? Okay. Yeah, ma'am, I got it. You have substituted. Okay, this, this this equation is I fine. Think. Yes, ma'am. Okay, what about this? Ma'am, I got it. Okay, next one. All these are fine. Yes, ma'am. Where, where you have checked? Can you just tell me here? This equation you are telling. No, ma'am, I got it. It was... Uh, okay, okay, fine. Then it's fine. Me. Okay. Now you find out I1. Ma'am, I got I2 equal to 6 by 10J. I2 equal to? I2 equal to uh, 6 by yeah, 10J. Yeah, 6 by 10 is 0. 0.6. 1 by J is minus J. So it will be minus 0. 0.6J, correct? Please, please, uh, uh, 0. 0.6 uh, minus 0. 0.6J, no, ma'am? Correct. Okay. And that minus J represents minus 90 degrees. Minus 90 degree. So 0.6 angle minus 90. Correct? Uh, yes, ma'am. Got it, ma'am. So what is the this one? I2 and I1 are related as I1 is 8 plus 3j into I2 by 6. 8 plus 3j. Okay. So 8 plus 3j by 6 into I2 is minus 0.6j. So minus uh, four point eight J uh, plus one point eight divided by six. So that will be minus point eight J plus point three. So you will get it as 0 0.85 angle How much you are getting for the angle? Twenty point five five. Ma'am, minus sixty nine point four. Yeah, minus sixty nine point four four.
Are you getting this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Got ma'am. So we have done nodal, we have done mesh. Next, we can try with superposition. determine the voltage across 2 plus J5 impedance. You have 2 plus J5 here. So you are asked to sub, uh, calculate this voltage across this branch and affect this nodal voltage. So you have two sources here. One is this 50 angle zero uh, voltage source and other is this current source and uh, you have this we have already seen in the lectures this is your representation for ac voltage source and if it is the current source we put that direction of the current symbol and uh, this tilde symbol like this to show this ac that is this symbol so this is a ac current source this is a ac voltage source so you have one voltage source and one current source in the circuit and we are now trying to solve this using superposition. So first considering 50 angle zero that voltage source alone so that I open circuit the current source for de-energizing okay so so if this is open then this will not be a closed loop so the circuit and the consideration will be this part so that will be so this is 50 angle zero This is J4 ohm, am I right? J4 ohm. So this will be the current. If I represent it as I1, what will be I1? We can see that this is a series circuit where these two impedances, sorry, these two inductors, J4 and J5 are in series with this 2 ohm. So this I1 will be simply 50 angle 0 divided by 2 plus J4 plus J5. Am I right? Let me know the value of I1 in polar form after doing this division. So polar of 2 plus J9. So 
so this is 50 angle 0 divided by 9.22 angle Seventy seven. So that will be five point four two angle minus seventy seven point four seven degrees this much amperes. Now, we are asked to calculate the voltage across this uh, branch, that is 2 plus J5. So, what is the voltage across this 2 plus J5? That will be I1 into 2 plus J. So that will be 5.42 angle minus 77.47 into polar of 5.39. Okay, angle. Sixty-eight point one nine. So that will be twenty nine point one six. Minus 9.28 degrees. So, uh, when you have uh, two complex quantities represented in polar form, and if you perform the multiplication, you multiply the magnitude part and you add the angle parts. So, 5.42 into 5.39 will be 29.16. Minus 77.47 plus 68.19 will give you minus 9.28 degrees. So this involves. Now you have to consider the current source alone de-energizing the voltage source. So what was the current value? 20 angle. Ma'am, uh, 29.21 getting ma'am. 29.16. 29.16. Uh, 29 Oh, yeah, I fine. Worked. That depends upon uh, the decimal place you have approximated for. So around this value, 29.16 or 29.2. Okay. So 20 angle, how much? 30. 20 angle, 30 degree MPS alone active. So that the 50 angle source, voltage source, to de-energize it, it is short-circuited. So in effect, what we have is, I shorted this, and I have J4 ohm. I have 2 plus J5. And I have here that current source. Okay, here you have a minus J3.
so this being shorted this j4 comes in parallel to this 2 uh, plus j5 so now let me consider the current i2 like this I2, I am considering the current flowing through this 2 plus J5. Okay. So, you have this J4 and since we are in the second term, let me not uh, again redraw this so that I am uh, rubbing this and showing it as in parallel to this one. Is it fine? Correct? These things are clear for you, I hope. Yes, ma'am. So yes. J4 will be coming in parallel to that 2 plus J5 branch so that now we are trying to we have a, a current source okay uh, incoming current and we have two branches in parallel we can apply the current division rule for finding this current I2 so by means of current division rule I can write I2 as the incoming current 20 angle 30 into the resistance parallel to that J4 in polar will be simply 4 angle 90 correct divided by this 2 plus J5 plus J4. That will be 2 plus J9. So 20 angle 30 into 4 angle 90 divided by polar of 2 plus J9. Nine point two two angle seventy seven point four seven. So that will be eighty by in the numerator I multiply the uh, magnitude, then dividing division will be. Numerator by denominator. So, 80 divided by 9.22. You have 8.676. What about angle? Here we add it up. That is 120. Then, since it is division, 120 minus 77.47. So, that will give you 42.5. 53 degrees. Now, to find out the voltage across that branch, So 2 plus J5, we have earlier, uh, the previous step, we have found out the this one polar. That is 5.38 angle, 68.19 into this I2, 8.676 angle, 42.53. So that will be. Forty six point six seven six. So forty six point six eight. Okay. Angle eight point one nine plus forty two point five three. So that will give you one ten point seven two degrees.
now by superposition you have to add these two responses voltage across let this be v2 let me take the other as v1 so in both the cases you just see whether the polarities are in the same thing here it was the current was flowing like this so the polarity was plus at the top minus at the bottom the second case also current direction is upward so the current flows like this so the polarity is again plus at the top and minus at the bottom so we need to just add these two right algebraic sum sum i was taking for so voltage across this uh, 2 plus j5 ohm will be v1 plus v2 so that will be what was v1 29.16 angle minus 9.28 this plus forty six point six eight angle one ten point seven two I think uh, you can just check for uh, the calculator that I leave it to you. You have you can go to the complex mode actually. Okay, when you go to the complex mode, something like that you can uh, directly this one polar. This something like exactly what we have written like this: twenty nine point one six angle minus nine point two plus forty six point six eight angle one ten point seven two. You can add it up. Instead of just uh, this converting into rectangle, this converting into rectangle, and then adding it up all those things you just go to the complex mode in the scientific calculator perform this addition directly and you can just check for your final answer that will give you 40.85 angle 72.53 for your voltage across that 2 plus j5 impedance ma'am in complex mode uh, i am typing shift plus but it is not showing polar once again complex mode means see first uh, to go to the complex mode you have a key mode right if you press that mode you will have comp1 and cmplx2 have you seen that? Yes, ma'am. I have entered two. And then you have entered two. Now you are in the complex mode. Now to just uh, perform this addition directly, twenty nine point one six. Then uh, maybe if you can find out one key over which you have this angle symbol being written. Uh, do you find a key like uh, an opening bracket? And a closing bracket and a minus is enclosed within that. Do you find yes, one such key? Ah, so shift and that key you press. So you find that angle symbol coming, right? Yes, ma'am. Ah, then minus 9.28. But actually you you should have opened a bracket before this 29.16. So let me come again. So 29, open bracket 29.16. Uh, then this one angle minus 9.28 close the brackets plus again open the bracket 46.68 then this one angle 110.72 so that ma'am uh, one second ma'am please ma'am so that will give you 12.26 uh, plus J38.97 
in rectangular that in polar form would be this 40.85 angle 72.53 and again if you want to clear the mode you have to press shift then mode then 2 equal to equal to double times you have to press equal to that will clear the mode that means you will again come back uh, come out of the complex mode uh, ma'am in uh, my calculator it is showing 38 point and one arrow so how can i look after that arrow which one 38 point and Did then you get this 12 point to your two six yes ma'am and the, then you are getting it as 38.9 also ma'am it is coming 38 point and one arrow sign is coming arrow sign i didn't see uh, no ma'am it means that uh, the value is i think larger than the screen size yeah, so that's what you you have to press that uh, this one. You can uh, see that uh, uh, I mean, upwards, downwards, left and right key, right? Oh, yes, ma'am, I got. Then you uh, move to scroll to the right and see what the values digit is. Yes, got. It. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, could you please once again explain, ma'am, how? Uh, it is converted to rectangular shape. Are you asking form, the calculator? By from mode operation. Yes, no, regarding calculator. Yeah, to find you go to the complex mode. See, all these are for the assignment purpose. You are making use of. Just make sure that for the exam you uh, have to do it manually so that you have sufficient practice. You know the uh, trigonometric identity, and you also just make sure that you don't make much errors in while approximating the decimals. Or else you will be far away from the solution. In a... Exam? In exam, ma'am, calculator allowed, ma'am? Physical calculators are not allowed for the or, exam. Uh, for exam, physical that means calculators. We have to are... use scientific calculator only, ma'am. Yeah. So, going to. Ma'am, if, if, you, if you so. so uh, so as a scientific calculator calculation ma'am that will be useful ma'am what i your voice ma is breaking if if you ma'am if you if you so as uh, in lecture ma'am uh, in class ma'am uh, using calculation on uh, online calculator ma'am scientific calculator that will be helpful ma'am and that I will check actually uh, which one is shared. Uh, I mean, for your exam. Ah, TCS, TCS uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. calculator is there, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. That will be that will be useful to us, ma'am. If you show I us. I think I think uh, usually that uh, link of that calculator is being shared with you, so to have practice with. Is it not so? For ESTC, how you had you just saw it only during the exam. Or uh, you had the link of that uh, earlier for your practice? Ma'am, uh, ma'am, in exams, ma'am, TCS calculator is given, ma'am, not the one which is. That's showing what. That's what. Our the, in the, no, no, is that link being shared uh, sometime with you? The TCS calculator. Uh, the. Ma'am, it is available online, ma'am. It is available online, ma'am. If you type or TCS calculator, it will be available now. Correct. So you that was the one you were using it for the last term also, right? Yes, ma'am. In every exam, we are using that, ma'am. Ah, do you have in that? Do you have this uh, these keys for interconversions between rectangular and polar? Uh, let me see, please wait, ma'am. I am just searching now, ma'am. Please wait. Okay. So learn these things even while doing for the assignments. I'm talking about right now for the assignment purpose, the physical calculator. Ma'am, I got it, ma'am. Complex mode. Okay. So ma'am, go uh, I got it, ma'am. Online. Online scientific calculator. Okay. So let me just uh, tell you once again how to go to the complex mode and then we can just continue. Fine. So shift mode. What did you see then? Can you see the one, two, three MCL mode all? Yes, ma'am. You press two. So okay, ma'am. 
clearing the mode so once again you uh, going to the complex mode you press mode simply mode not shift simply mode you see the mode complex right correct yes ma'am mode clear is done ma'am mode clear is done so right now you are uh, in the normal mode now i am trying to uh, tell you how to go to the complex mode so press mode simply the key over which it is written mode in your calculator so press that you will see one for comp and two for complex correct one for comp and two for st and three for uh, please wait ah uh, yes ma'am so press the number for complex uh, one one comp ma'am one One is C O M P, and do you find C O M P L X complex? No, no please. Uh, no, no, no. C O M P S D R E G. C O M P one S D two R E G three, ma'am. Um, well, what is the one that you have? The scientific calculator. Uh, it is uh, Casio F X eighty two M S, second edition. Okay, uh, I just have to check with it because I forgot it long back. Okay, so ma'am, may I, uh, I have, may I clear one second, ma'am? What I have with me right now is uh, with reference to what I am talking about is Casio FX hundred MS. Okay. So in that, if you press mode, you will have this two. Then when you press enter, you will be in the complex mode. Then. You can go with this uh, uh, the key which I was referring to earlier. You have an opening bracket minus and then close bracket where you over which it is written angle. You can press something like this directly. This twenty nine point one six angle minus nine point two eight plus this forty six point six eight angle. This one and get the answers. Then again coming back from the complex mode, shift that mode to then press equal to twice. You will get out of the complex mode. So I suggest. seriously have the serious uh, uh, for the purpose of assignments right now i am talking about get a scientific calculator with you this i already uh, mentioned the very first day so scientific calculator get with you and go through the instructions and uh, get uh, used to this how to make use of that for various things so that you can make uh, do these calculations somewhat easily after at least one or two problems okay so we have done one with mesh one with nodal one with superposition let us try with some more determine the terminal equivalent to the left of the circuit of the terminals a and b that means with respect to the terminals a and b find the terminal equivalent
So tell me how to go about this. How to find out the terminal voltage and terminal resistance. What do we do is terminal voltage is the open circuit voltage. Correct. So with respect to terminals A and B, if I this it is already open, right? So uh, here what we know is then looking from this terminal A B, what is the terminal voltage? 50 volt man. One second, I made a mistake. Here it should come like this. Uh, I mean, this one minus J4 ohm is towards this side. Okay, so looking from the terminals A and B, the terminal voltage will be the voltage across this 4 plus J6 ohm. Agreed? Yes, ma'am. So what is the voltage across 4 plus J6 ohm? That will be, you can apply the voltage division rule. Correct, simply it is a voltage divider. So that will be 50, plus 50 angle 0 into this 4 plus J6 divided by 4 plus J6 plus 3 minus J6. How much? J4. Correct? Here. This is the circuit. Correct? So you have this in series. So we need the voltage across this 4 plus J6. So that will be 50 angle 0 into this impedance divided by the total impedance. You have two resistors in series. You, you have an applied voltage across that resist series network. You are trying to calculate the voltage across that one of the series element then that voltage will be equal to the total applied voltage into the resistance across which you are calculating the voltage divided by some of those resistances this was the case the series par a series resistive network we have seen already seen in the previous term right now the same thing instead of pure resistors you are seeing in terms of impedances because you have inductor and capacitor uh, also coming into picture so that you have this impedance 3 minus J4 ohm coming in series with this 4 plus J6. So the applied voltage is 50 angle 0. So by voltage division, 50 angle 0 into 4 plus J6 divided by 3 minus J4 plus 4 plus J6 will give you this voltage across 4 plus J6. Fine for you? Yes, ma'am. Clear, ma'am. So try, find out this value. Tell me in polar form, what is this terminal voltage? Seven point two one four point J six. Yeah, fifty angle zero. Sorry, into seven point two one angle. Angle of uh, 56.30. Okay. Denominator, the real part is 7. Imaginary part is 2. So 3 plus J2. Sorry, 7 plus J2. For that, you need to calculate the, find out the polar. So that will be 7.28 angle 15.5. Nine five. Just check it out whether you are getting this.
ma'am got the answer ma'am same answer ma'am okay now what about the thevenin impedance in process terminals a and b will be so go back to the circuit tell me what will be the terminal impedance when you see from the terminal a and b what what you should do for this voltage source it will be short circuited ma'am okay so after short circuiting it what will be the terminal impedance tell me in terms of these you have these two in series right j5 and minus j4 so j5 minus j4 that will be in series with the parallel combination of this branch and this branch am i right yes ma'am so you need to calculate you need to short circuit the short circuit the 50 angle zero volt voltage source so that will be like this short circuit you want you have here is uh, yeah 3 minus j4 so 3 minus j4 4 plus j6 here j5 and minus j4 so looking from this so it will be minus j5 uh, sorry plus j5 minus j4 that will be in series with 3 minus j4 parallel to 4 plus j6 so two impedances two resistors in parallel you will write it as r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 similarly impedances z1 z2 by z1 plus z2 where z1 is 3 minus j4 and z2 is 4 plus j6 so i am writing it as z1 Into Z two divided by Z one plus Z two. So J five minus J four will be J plus. How much is this? Well, uh, plus J six. Okay, twelve plus eighteen J minus sixteen J, so two J plus sixteen. Sorry, plus twenty four divided by seven plus J two. So J plus. Final answer in polar. Let me know.
Are you getting the answer? Final answer in polar form for the Levin impedance? Uh, up to this, I have got my thirty-six to two zero. So this will be seven J minus two. I multiply this. Plus thirty six plus two j divided by seven plus two j, so that will be nine j plus thirty four divided by two j plus seven. Sorry, I made a mistake. It should be thirty-four comma Just check it out whether you are getting these. Four point eight three angle. Minus one point one three degrees. Oh, so this is the thevenin impedance. So we have done on mesh, nodal, superposition, and thevenin. If you uh, know to do thevenin, then similarly you can do Norton also. Thevenin impedance, Norton impedance will be. Uh, I mean, thevenin uh, resistance and Norton resistance will be the same. And uh, this one, uh, Norton, you have to short circuit the terminals so that you can try it out on your own. So that let me move on to the star delta. Okay. Star delta transformation. So I have the delta circuit like this. R A, R B. And RC connected between nodes X, Y, and Z. So this looks like pi. So it is called as delta or pi network. So if I am connecting it as star. So delta can be. uh run like this also okay so you have ra between x and z and rb between x and y and rc between y and z so these are all the delta representations now if you have this star 
star what do i have is r1 here r2 and r3 y or star since it is uh, it resembles the letter y we call refer it as y network or the star network so the interconversions is you have this r a as r1 plus r3 plus r1 r3 by r2 similarly r b is r1 plus r2 plus r1 r2 by r3 so how do i write r a r a we know r a uh, i mean we know r1 r2 and r3 from which we are trying to calculate r a r b r c so it is the case of star to delta conversion okay so star to delta uh, is so uh, what r a is r1 plus r3 plus r1 r3 by r2 you can see that r a is this one that uh, the two ends of r a are this node x and z so what uh, what are the resistors being connected to those two nodes are in the star r r1 and r3 so those two resistors r1 plus r3 then the third will be the product of that divided by the third resistance we already had taken r1 and r3 what is the third resistance r2 that is the way of remembering it is it fine okay yes ma'am but if we uh, uh, change the names uh, that will be useful ma'am uh, like uh, from xz uh, the delta uh, a branch as rxz rzy rxy in this way ma'am okay you take this as rxz this is rxy this is r z by or yz i have taken the same uh, labels as uh, the props as used in the lecture so that you can refer easily so that i am not making use of any other uh, labels or uh, this one okay the variables so we are trying we are right now talking about the star to delta conversion that means if we know r1 r2 r3 how to calculate ra rb rcs you know that this is the one way of drawing the pi network and from the previous term you now very well know that these two nodes are one and the same that is the same node said so that i can draw like this so that in this this way of drawing it is evident that it is a single node here it appears to be two different nodes but we know that it is the one and the same node so this way of drawing or this way of drawing it is the delta network because the delta symbol it looks like correct so that's why it is referred as delta or if we draw like this it refer, resembles pi so we refer it as pi or delta similarly here this resembles y or star so star if you can see uh the christmas star or whatever in the uh, two dimension if you see it will be something like this correct all these are joining here the one and the same point am i right so we call it as star so now uh r a how to find out r a r a is connected between node x and node z so what are the resistors in the star uh, equivalent which is getting connected to the uh, these nodes x and z that is r1 and r3 so simply in that way you can um, remember this that is r1 plus r3 plus the third term is the product of those two which is r1 r3 divided by the third resistance so similar if that is the case without me telling i, um, I will just 
write the expression for rb now tell me the expression for rb if the ra expression is clear rb is connected between x and y so in the corresponding star equivalent what are the resistors being connected to x and y r1 and r2 so the expression for rb will be r1 plus r2 plus r1 r2 divided by r3 correct this one yes similarly you find out the expression for rc it will be what is rc if r a and r b are r2 is r2 plus r3 plus r2 r3 by r1 r1 correct so rc will be r2 plus r3 plus r2 r3 by r1 now delta to star that means if you know r a r b r c how to find out r1 r2 and r3 so r1 will be R A R B plus R B R C plus R A R C. So R A R B divided by I will tell you how to remember this R one. R one is this. So just the other way. R one. What are the uh, resistors coming uh, connected to this node? This one X. So that is R A R B divided by the sum of the resistors R A plus R B. Similarly, R two will be R B R C by R A plus R B plus R C. R three will be R A R C by. Okay, so R A R B by R A plus R B plus R C. R two will be. Uh, R B R C by R three will be R A R C by R A plus R B plus R C. Okay. fine for you so uh, i think if we start uh, solving the problems on star delta we may not be uh, getting sufficient time so i stop here for today so maybe uh, uh, on monday the next session we can just solve on uh, the star delta and then the remaining two are this one maximum power transfer and uh, the dependence source after which we will be solving the practice questions okay so in general what do i suggest is since you have now entered the second term the more and more new things you will be learning and uh, the maybe for some of the weeks the contents will be little bit heavy so see that you go in line with the video contents practice the assignment first from your side and then come to the session additionally solve problems apart from this practice and graded given to you from the uh, textbooks that you have with you uh, so that you uh, you are fast in solving things and also you don't make any errors so that is up to you the same thing that uh, i have been telling for you the estc course also the same here lot many problems you solve with then only you will be feeling confident with so see that uh, not only with this practice and graded being given to you apart from that you try to do more problems from the textbook that you have i will also try to give more than uh, in addition to what we have from this assignment questions maybe later sometime later okay so try to solve with the activity questions activity for week 1 was released but week 2 again i discussed in the live session maybe the pdf i can um, release it for you for reference this again i can uh, do it for you okay the uh, whatever that we are discussing here so tomorrow is the deadline for week 2 submitted 
and uh, before coming on uh, for the monday session see that you have gone through the week 3 lectures once again uh, one or two times and then uh, the one round of uh, solving of the practice questions of week 3 from your side and then come to the session fine yes ma'am yes okay so see you on monday thank you thank you ma'am thank you thank you ma'am thank you thank you ma'am thank you everyone